Hi everyone, I'm Shaylin here with Readsy. Today we're going to be talking about Amazon publishing and answering the question, should you self-publish with Amazon? Basically just breaking down the reasons why you may or may not want to take this publishing path. So this isn't going to be a breakdown of whether or not self-publishing is right for you in general, just whether or not the Amazon platform is the best option for you. There are other platforms that you can use to self-publish, so we're not going to be talking about self-publishing in general. If you do want a video breaking down the differences between self-publishing and traditional publishing, we've got a video on that topic and I will leave a link to that in the cards. This is all going to be Amazon specific. So the reason for making this video is because Amazon KDP or Kindle Direct Publishing is the largest and most popular self-publishing platform. Because of this, it's the platform most writers default to, but it doesn't mean that it doesn't have pros and cons. That should be considered. So let's start by talking about what KDP is. Basically, Kindle Direct Publishing is Amazon's self-publishing platform. As is typical with self-publishing, it allows you to sell your books to a global audience without any help or influence from a publisher. It's quite easy to use. It only takes a few hours to make an account and upload your files, and then your book will be for sale within a few days. And in general, it is the largest and most accessible platform for self-published authors. So that said, what are some of the benefits? Again, these aren't benefits just to self-publishing. These are benefits that KDP might have over other platforms like Kobo, Barnes & Noble, or Apple Books. First of all is that it's the world's largest bookstore for English speakers. Now, I mean, it is technically the largest bookstore in the world in general. It doesn't have as much of a stronghold over non-English markets. KDP actually has an 83% monopoly on ebook sales with all other competitors sharing the remaining 17%. You can manage your book across a dozen different retailers and more than half of your sales are still going to come from Amazon. The second benefit is that the Kindle store is algorithm driven. This means that there isn't a person or team of people making decisions about which books should or shouldn't be promoted. This means that with a bit of strategy, you can maneuver the algorithm and make it work for you. This is great for new authors because the algorithm doesn't have any inherent bias over established authors versus new authors. It's simply data-driven, which means that if you can show the algorithm that your book has a chance to rise over more established titles in terms of sales, it will promote you even if you're a brand new debut author. The third benefit is that you can sell print and ebooks from the same account. Now, ebooks have risen in popularity, but print books aren't going anywhere. They still account for a pretty significant amount of book sales, with the figures depending quite a lot on the specific genre. You can use KDP Print, formerly known as CreateSpace, to sell with print on demand, meaning one book is printed each time one is ordered, so you never have to order in bulk and end up with an excess of copies that you might not be able to sell. And there's the benefit of being able to sell your print and ebook versions from the same platform, which minimizes the amount of time you spend doing admin. And finally, you have access to some bonus marketing tools. This includes things like Amazon advertising, which will feature your book as a sponsored title on comparable titles pages. You can also access free promotional tools through KDP Select. We've got an entire video on KDP Select. There's a lot to go into, so I won't cover it all in this video. You can check that out in the cards, but you'll have access to things like Kindle Unlimited countdown deals and price promotions in exchange for giving Amazon 90 day exclusivity, meaning they're the only platform distributing your book. All of that said, what are the drawbacks? Of course there are drawbacks. Otherwise, other platforms would be completely run out of business. First of all, is that there are limits to KDP's 70% royalty right now. Of course, making 70% royalty royalties on a title is pretty fantastic, especially when you're comparing it to the around 10% you'd be making as a traditionally published author. And you can earn 70% royalties on ebooks through Amazon, but there are some limitations. If your book is priced over $9.99, your royalty rate drops all the way from 70 to 35%. Now, most ebooks don't cost more than $9.99 anyway, but this can be a detriment if you want to do something like sell a box set and sell multiple titles together. By contrast, platforms like Apple Books and Kobo don't have this royalty drop off. The second drawback is pretty significant and it's to access KDP Select and all of those bonus marketing tools, you have to give Amazon exclusivity. This means that you can't distribute your book through any other platform. Now, even though Amazon does account for the majority of book sales outside the US and the UK, they don't have as strong a monopoly on ebook sales. So if you're Amazon exclusive, you won't be able to reach the widest audience possible. A lot of authors find more success by going wide 
aka distributing their books across multiple platforms. The KDP Select tools can be really beneficial, but do a lot of careful research before you commit. It's not worth it for everyone. And the final drawback is just that you're feeding the beast that is Amazon. You might not want to line Jeff Bezos' pockets any further through your own book sales. Amazon has just been gradually absorbing a greater and greater market share of book sales, web hosting services, streaming services, even groceries, basically everything. There are a lot of valid reasons why you might not want to support Amazon. Amazon's poor ethics are definitely something to be aware and informed of. However, as an author, the unfortunate thing is that there isn't really an alternative. Although there are other platforms that you can use to distribute your book, it's going to be really hard to get solid sales without distributing through Amazon. So as a quick summary, KDP is Amazon's self-publishing platform. Its benefits include being the largest book market for English-speaking readers by a pretty significant margin. The Kindle store is also driven by an algorithm, which means that as a new author, if you know how to be smart and strategic, you can get the algorithm to promote your book and do a lot of promotional work for you. You also have the benefits of being able to sell eBooks and print books from the same account. And if you wanna to commit to KDP Select by giving Amazon exclusivity, you have access to extra marketing tools. On the flip side, there are some drawbacks. In order to gain those marketing tools, you have to give Amazon exclusivity, which is not a strategy that works for all authors. And KDP's 70% royalty rate drops off for books above $9.99. Finally, Amazon does have a lot of ethical concerns. Unfortunately, it's really difficult, if not impossible, to make a living as an author without Amazon. This is something that might not sit well with you as an author, and it's definitely something to be aware of. So those are the benefits and drawbacks of publishing through KDP. If you've ever published through KDP, let me know in the comments. Let me know what your experience was. This is a really large topic. There are a lot of different facets to talk about when it comes to KDP, so I'll leave a bunch of resources in the description so you can learn more on this topic. Thanks so much for watching. Remember to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any new videos from us. We've got new writing, editing, and publishing tips every Tuesday and Friday. Until next time.